How much morning conversation can a late nighter muster on the way to the airport? Early. Consider this one word warm up an act of conservation on my way to the Bay Area and the 2019 California Tiny Living Festival. On two hours sleep after a late work night, preparing to MC and give my first keynote speech of the year and first public event since July's showcase at the mayor's house. If you've been following my journey, you know tiny house festivals are a thing. Popping up across the country to celebrate everyone from downsizing minimalists to traveling digital nomads and the small space structures that house them. My port home is considered mid-sized here, with everything from schoolies to box trucks littering the fairgrounds just north of Berkeley, California. Each home is open for public tours, with experts like yours truly on hand to share their wisdom about the alternative housing movement. Just reminding you, we are here until 6 p.m. today, guys. Uh, they're all treated the same way uh, as a structure. Um, nice and easy. It was a cheap solution that's worked quite well. A magnificent man, a super, super cool guy, Matt T.K. Devine. We're fed up with overpriced apartments far flung from decent jobs. We're jaded by competing with desperate transplants willing to overpay for under-delivering rental units. It's no surprise we yearn to return to an era where life was lived more in accordance with human evolution. Is tiny living really that revolutionary? Any other questions about uh, living in an office? Yeah. How did you get caught? How did I get caught? You gotta read the book. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>